country music queen could completely bring down the house, wind and all, with a surprise appearance at Stagecoach. And as the voice heads into the live quarterfinals, you know we had to invite our favorite coach to share all the details. Please welcome the one, the only, <laughs> Reba McIntyre. Oh, thank you very much. I can't believe you're sitting with us. I grew up listening and in the country uh, with, to your music with my parents. And on the way here today, we had a little cry, like driving, <laughs> listening to all the... All, I mean, you're just such an icon. So oh. I'm going to try to keep it together Please. today, Justin. <laughs> we had this My talk. first question is, uh, Sagecoach, how did that come to be? How Miranda texted me and she said, hey, I'm, I'm headlining... Um, uh, not Coachella, Stagecoach, would you like to come out and sing some songs with me? And I said, I would love to, because I'm so proud of her, a female headlining. So I was like, yes, girl power. Right? And the fact that Miranda Lambert can just call you and has your number. Oh, ha heck yeah. Has there ever been, a, ever been an artist that has hit you up and you're like, I cannot believe this is my life? Oh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. I feel so blessed, so lucky, so thankful that I get to do what I do for as long as I've gotten to do it mm -hmm. at the level I'm getting to do it now. Oh, well, so thinking of the level you're doing it now, you have this great chemistry with Chance the Rapper mm -hmm. on The Voice. And he says you two have become fast friends. Take a look at this. Oh, boy. Amazing. We got a like a cool close thing going. All right, this is our new dance. One, two, three. Oh, no. I've been learning a lot from her for sure. And she's been learning a little bit from me, taught her some dance moves. <laughs> That's my OG. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we see what you have picked up uh, from Chance. What have you been teaching him? Well, I've been teaching him how to play the cowbell. Mm. And then how to wave, because that's my queen wave. And then sometimes I let him hold my scepter. Because ah. I am the queen, they call me. Yes. I like that. You know? Yes. Just for a moment, and then the, take it right back. Little bitty bit. Yep. And as the queen, I know you want to win. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck yeah. Because those live quarterfinals are coming. You must be the biggest trash talker on that set. Well, not <laughs> really. John's pretty good. Uh, I think Shay's the best trash talker. Mm. Yeah, I really do. I think he's the best one. Do you get really competitive with everyone? Mm, yeah. I'm very competitive. I've always been that way. And when they get to talking and everything a little bit too much, I have to call them down. Ah. You know. And I'm only I'm the only female, so you gotta hold it down and just you know quiet confidence, boys. Mm -hmm. Now let the queen have <laughs> yeah. her moment. That's what I do. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of talking when you're hosting the Academy of Country Music Awards for We're the coming. 17th We're time. Yeah, 17. I mean, the amount of pressure, the wardrobe, the hair changes, the all of it. Do you know what you're wearing this year? Because you always yes. look amazing. Well, see, that's the main thing. When they say, "Would you like to host?" I'd say yes, and then I'm thinking, how many outfits am I going to have to go through? So the first fitting was five hours. The second fitting was two hours. And so, yes, it's going to be about four outfits for the show, one for red carpet, and one to perform. Nice. Yes. Got it down. I love that. Something else that just came out recently, first of all, Reba is coming to Netflix. Yes. One of my favorite shows. Uh -huh. We also heard through the grapevine, you're working on a, on a show, a new pilot for NBC with your Reba family. Tell us about it. Is it a Reba reboot? Is it something new? Brand new. It's called Happy's Place, and Melissa Peterman is going to be with me Love on her. it. Rex Lynn, my boyfriend, will be on it. And it's about a tavern that me and my father own. His name was Happy. He passes. And so I am going to the lawyer's office to find, you know, to sign the will. Everything's going to be finalized. And then there's a little hiccup there at the lawyer's office. That. I already know what it's going to be, and there we're going to go. talk off camera because okay. I'm so excited about this. But I did, think it sounds good. Did someone put the AC on? Because it's it's hot in here. Are you hot? I mean, I feel like it can only mean one thing, Justin. What? It is time to put our country queen through the Reba McIntyre. Oh. <laughs> All right, Reba, yes. we're going to ask you some rapid fire questions. You got to quickly answer with the first thing that comes to mind. Got it. Are you ready? Yes. Beyonce released a remake of Dolly Parton's Jolene. If she had to cover a Reba song, what would it be? Fancy. Hmm. And since you are the fanciest, what makes you feel fancy? Hmm. Oh, what makes me feel fancy? Like yeah. comfortable boots. Oh, I like that. I like it. Okay. All right, you're a country girl like me. When you accidentally drop food on the floor, do you abide by the three second rule? No, five second. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, I like it. Okay, on a scale of never to definitely, how likely are you to get married again? Oh, 
Uh, well, in the middle, if Rex wants to. Ah, I like that. Okay. Rex. How okay. big does the ring have to be? Oh, no. You're good. I'm good. Mm. Do, do you know how many diamonds this woman has at home? <laughs> She's like, you know, she got a vault. <laughs> if you had competed on The Voice before becoming the queen of country, what would be the one song that would you would sing that would make them turn those chairs around? Summertime. Mm. Oh, what is a song that was originally um, pitched to you, but you passed and made famous by someone else? Uh, does Fort Worth ever cross your mind, George Strait? Oh. <laughs> If there was ever a movie made about your life, who would you pick to play you in the movie? Mm, she just was just won the Oscars. Oh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Oh, Emma Stone would be such a good Reba. Okay, I love it. Next, and most importantly, when can we expect new Reba hits? Oh, I, mean, I, I hope soon, right after the uh, we get to perform it at the Academy Country Music Awards, because we will new. be doing our new single there. I love it. You guys, you All heard right. it first. Reba made it through the <laughs> Mick and <fi> Mac and Fire. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. The Voice live shows air Monday and Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. on our parent network, NBC, and stream the next day on Peacock and the ACM Stream Live, May 16th on Prime Video. What a joy.